Hi, this is Jimmy Abaddon. In this video, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to install Mass Effect 1 Controller Support Mod on the PC. You can use this mod on both Steam or EA Origin. You can download this mod on the official site that supports it or you can download it through my Google Drive on the video description below. Once you download this mod, it will come as a zip file. I have my zip file already downloaded on the top right corner of my screen. Right click it and make sure you extract files. Hit OK to extract the file. Once you extract the file, it will be opened as a folder. Double click on the folder. Once the folder is open, you can see the Mass Effect 1 controller folder. Open that folder. And here are the other folders that we want to replace them with. Let's go ahead and open this PC to open up the file explorer to the right. And let's go to the hard drive where your game is installed. For me, my game is installed on the game disk. So I'll double click on my game hard drive. And the game for me is installed on program files x86. And it's installed on the folder called origin games. Now wherever you have your game installed, make sure you find it. For me, this is where it is. All my EA games are installed on this folder. And you can see Mass Effect 1 is here as well. I'm going to replace Mass Effect game folder with the Mass Effect folder of my mod. Copy this, right click, copy, and then right here where it's origin games where I have my origin games installed, right click, paste. Once it has been replaced, we can move on to the next step. Go back to this PC to open up your file explorer's main menu. Then click on where it says Documents, your Documents folder. Once you click on Documents folder, scroll down to find Bioware. Here is the Bioware folder. Once you open the Bioware folder, you'll see another Mass Effect folder. Click on that. Once you click on that, this is the folder config you want to replace with your mod. Simply right click. Copy it and now click on this folder and right click and hit paste to replace it. Once you finish replacing it, you are done installing the mod. Simply close the windows, open up Steam or EA Origin, whichever platform you're modding this game on, and simply click on the game and hit play. You can now turn on your Xbox controller and start playing with the full controller support with all the user interface and everything. Have fun!